Hi everyone, welcome to your timeless tarot reading. This is Lauren with the Clarity Cure. How are you guys? If you're new to my channel today, would love for you to subscribe and become a part of my tribe here on YouTube. I do weekly zodiac tarot readings for all 12 signs. I do new moon, full moon readings. I do these timeless readings, which I really, really love to do because when I feel inclined to deliver a message, I sit down like I'm doing right now and we're gonna dive in. Um, and no matter when you find this video, okay, it will apply for you and your particular situation. So I hope this resonates for you. Um, I, I put these chimes up, guys. I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> Hold on. I need my glasses on. They're a little annoying. Can you guys see them? They're clanking a little bit right here. <laughs> um, we'll see. We'll play around with, with that. I mean, they're not really bothering me. I hope they don't bother you. <laughs> Just looking for a little color, a little action, you know, souping up my studio here. I've got some lights going on. So anyway, let's let's get into this. I'm going to shuffle the cards. Um, all right. My glasses need to be wiped off. But I hope you guys are doing well for the most part. You know, I have another channel, Lauren Larson, okay, where I do energy meditation and oracle card readings, if you ever want to check that out. Um, I really, really enjoy doing those for you guys. It helps you become more self-reliant, how to relax, how you can shift your energy and vibration up, right, so we can cope with all the crazy changes going on in the world. Um, all right, so let's get these cards out. That feels good. In your past, Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, two knights, lots of action. This looks really kind of exciting. Two of Wands in your immediate future. The Strength card for your advice. Seven of Pentacles for your influence. Three of Cups as your block. Okay, it's going to get better. Don't worry. And your outcome is the Eight of Pentacles. Oh, that's good. So financial and career success here for you around the corner. Bottom of the deck, Ten of Wands. Yep, you're closing many, many doors. Wow, this is great. This is, um, tens are endings. Okay, so it looks like you're at the point in your life where you're really ready to let go, release um, what doesn't serve you anymore. And that includes physical things as well, baggage, emotionally speaking, physically speaking, um, I love it. You're turning a page, right, of a big chapter in your life. So that's really exciting. Overall energy. Lots of closing of doors and opening new ones. I definitely feel this is career-driven for sure. I also feel that, um, yeah, you have success coming. You're just going to have to be patient. Okay, um, let's dive in and kind of get into the details as the as far as the nitty-gritty. Okay, in your past, in your immediate past, you have the Knight of Pentacles. So maybe things have been moving very slowly for you. Knights are great, though, because they do depict how things are changing or the speed of the situation. And yes, the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight in the deck, but he does make progress. So I feel like, financially speaking, that you have been working towards some type of tangible offer or opportunity for your future. Some of you could already kind of have your own business and building it, or you could be job hunting or creating some kind of career change or motivation in your life. Um, it's positive. I mean, the night, you can kind of see, he's just kind of <laughs> taking his time here, walking through the fields with the horse, horse right behind him, kind of just plodding along, you know. But the good news is, is um, the Knight of Pentacles, he's very methodical. And, um, and even though things like might be moving slow for you, um, this is progress. This is progress being, being made. You will be successful because you're putting in the hard work and the determination to move forward in your life. And wow, you got your second night here. You have this opportunity coming in. Knight of Wands is very fiery. Look at her. She's just pounding on this drum, you know, enjoy feeling really, really happy. Um... I definitely feel like, yeah, whatever offer, now this could be an opportunity, meaning some kind of career change that I was picking up earlier, or even an opportunity and a way to advance a business maybe that you already have at play. 
um, or a job. This could be, you know, you now being able to move forward um, and it's coming in rather quickly, I might, I might add. So this should be happening for you, um, I would say, in the latest, the next, you know, two weeks, okay, as we speak. So that's really quite promising. So if you've been job hunting, looking for change, looking to make some money, waiting for things to move forward and take off, you're, you're on your way, okay? Um, Knight of Pentacles is taking charge too. Maybe you need to take charge and maybe put yourself out there a little bit more too. I mean, you're moving along. Things have been slow, but boom, it's like all of a sudden something is going to turn around for you <clears throat> in uh, you pursuing an idea as well. It's very promising. It's very fiery energy. It's, it's going to get you moving and motivated. It's exciting. Really, really exciting. Uh, two of Wands in your immediate future. I feel so like maybe you've been putting off life, you know, like when things are kind of on hold and you don't know where you're going. This reminds me of this, this, okay, now I can make plans. Okay. Now I know, um, you know, I got this one leg kind of behind me. I'm getting this offer. I'm getting this job. I'm getting this money. I'm getting this promotion. I have this new opportunity to move forward. And it's like, now you're ready. You're ready to make longer term plans, which is really exciting. You know, that feeling where you don't know where you stand and it's like, how can you, you know, plan your future sometimes when, you know, you don't have a job or you've been out of work or, you know what I'm saying? Or you've been waiting for the finances to finally come in. I'm also hearing this could be an opportunity for, um, you know, somebody to invest in you as well. If you're a business owner, if you're looking for some type of financial security, that's a possibility for you as well. You know, offers influencers that kind of energy especially if you're on the internet or have a online business okay so some beautiful opportunities coming in now you can make plans and I almost feel like you're ready to plan a vacation <laughs> it's like you know um, yeah as soon as I get a couple of paychecks out of my belt or something there's travel there's travel here which is exciting maybe you know maybe you're getting this really awesome job from, and you can work from home and now you're like, oh, you know, I can move anywhere. You know, that's a possibility for some of you as well. So that's really, really exciting. Now, your advice card is strength. Major Arcana, the only one here in the spread this go around, which is fine, which does kind of indicate that this is a very powerful energy um, to consider. So, of course, you know, the standard MO for the strength card is stay strong, be strong, hang in there. Um... But I feel this is you kind of finding some kind of balance, right, between the ego and your spiritual self, you know, also making sure you're taking care of your soul and, and, and what it is that you really want to put out into the world, okay, because this is about taking back your divine, it's being courageous, but it's, it's also about this energy of you taking back your power, so if you've been feeling powerless, remember I was saying earlier, maybe, you know, you need to kind of put yourself out there a little bit more, um, there's some kind of trigger here for you to really connect to um, the determination and the courage that is, you know, deep down in here to push through, because it's, you know, you're overcoming some kind of difficulty, I mean, and we know that it could be debilitating when you feel depressed or you feel like things aren't moving along fast enough and where's my offer uh, it's coming guys I mean so determination believing in yourself trusting your intuition as well like I was saying earlier right you want to manage the ego and your intuition as one you know you see how she's kind of half beast half half human right so this is like the balance this is the balance of the divine power within you to keep moving forward a prayer meditation would be really powerful for you for you having faith that you're going to come out on the other side of the storm you know and see the light at the end of the tunnel so and it's over adversity too so so whatever this difficulty um for you has been like some of you maybe it's been really hard to get motivated or really hard to make the money or wait okay you're you're moving through it it's it's they want you to just to hang in there. Okay, that's that. That's the message coming through. 
very, very exciting. So we got a lot of fire energy, Leo, perhaps, or you could be a Leo, or a Leo could be significant in your life, just putting that out there. Now your influence is the Seven of Pentacles. I like that. I love that. This is working hard and planting those seeds. So it's like, you know, you know, you have to put the work in and I feel you have, you know, you're like, all right, where's the rest of my pentacles, man? <laughs> you know, like I planted them, I'm like waiting, waiting, <laughs> I'm waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and things are starting to sprout for you. It's really exciting. Yeah, you've done the work. So congratulations. You know, it's not like you're sitting back on your laurels, you know not putting the effort in seven of pentacles is promising this is you know taking stock of where you are in this situation and it's like you know maybe you've been on and off about you know checking in progress reviewing and assessing your situation investing in your future and it's it does also kind of represent a tedious time now to me the seven of pentacles represents like the summer the summer months because you plant those seeds right in the spring um and then you kind of reassess where you are in the summer and you harvest in the winter, uh, in the fall. So there could be some big windfall coming for you um, in the autumn of 2021, or it could be sooner. I mean, don't quote me. I feel this is, this is really quite promising that at least, you know, because this, I say that because of the Knight of Pentacles is here. Um, I feel that there's going to be... It's going to be a little different for each one of you, but I do feel this progress, no matter how, how you slice the pie, um, because this is a general reading, it's going to be different for each one of you. But at the end of the day, I mean, the influence of you working towards your goals and your future is here, and that's what's really most important, okay? So keep doing what you're doing, just hanging through the difficulty of feeling really stressed, um, Doing some type of um, yoga, meditation, body-mind connection work would be really good for you um, because it's all going to work out at the end of the day. Now, your obstacle is the Three of Cups. <laughs> you miss hanging out with your friends, huh? <laughs> you miss having a life, huh? <laughs> I see that. You know, it's almost as if you're so focused on your professional life that maybe you have you're missing your social life. And plus, you know, everything that's been going on uh, with the pandemic as well as maybe stifled you from spending time with others. That's very possible. Um, but you'll get there, okay? You'll be able to celebrate. Just be good to yourself. It's not happening tomorrow, but it is it is in your immediate future through preservation, preservation, right? Preservation? Is that right? Did I say that right? I'm having a senior moment. Um <laughs> And, and staying on task, okay? And being able to plan for your future is coming for you around the corner. Sorry, guys. Coughing and my chimes are clanking. If you guys like them, let me know. Leave a comment in the, <laughs> in the, in the comment section below. Let me know if you found them annoying or um, okay to deal with. All right, three of cups, growth, expansion. Yeah, you know... Threes are all about growth, and this is emotionally feeling like, okay, you know, if this is what you're going through right now, it, it can be frustrating. But it also does indicate an ending, an ending of problems, ending of your situation, which is about to change. Okay? So hang in there. It's really quite beautiful. Um, let's see what else is coming through. Maybe, okay, what they're saying, you know, is to spend a little time, if you can, get out. Go visit some friends, you know, break up the monotony of maybe being stressed about when is my finances going to change, when is this new opportunity going to come in for me, uh, I need to make money, maybe you're a small business owner and things aren't coming together yet, you know what I'm saying? So your friends are here for you, okay? And a part of this message for some of you, maybe not for all of you, is that sometimes 
you know, we just need to put ourselves out there and network a little bit and connect with the ones that we love for support. I feel like for this is more heart-centered support about what you're doing. There are people that care about you, okay? Now, at the end of the day, wow, Eight of Pentacles. See, you guys are going to get there. I'm thinking like July or August. And if that's too far off for some of you, I'm sorry. But I feel like whatever you're cultivating right now is moving to fruition. So I feel like there's action moving forward. But as far as like buku bucks or, you know, it's going to take a little time. It's going to take a little time for you to get ramped up to be able to plan your future or plan that vacation. Like I was saying earlier. Or maybe now like, okay, I got this new job or I got this new opportunity. You know, things are flowing. Okay, now I can make plans. So the two of wands is about long-term plans. Two years, three years, five years, ten years. Looking at, okay, where am I going to be? So it opens up your perspective about creating or moving, now being able to move forward with your success. And this at the end of the day, guys, this is... This is really spectacular. She's sitting like at a desk, right? Check out the image. Sitting on her chair, working, working, working. So be prepared. <laughs> I just want to let you know, sleepless nights maybe as far as, you know, just being able or just from working, not from stress. But this is like a good thing in a way because you're mastering new skills, right? Maybe some of you are studying, educating yourself, taking workshops. It's my apprenticeship mastery card. So... This is rebuilding, assessing new solutions to problems, um, having a goal, following through with your dream, um, working long hours, staying up late because you need to, you know, be in this space. Now, for some of you, this could be because you're moving into a whole new career. You know how that goes, right? You got that learning curve, you know? So that's okay. I mean, hard work meets opportunity. So this is improving your finances, your career even your relationships that have maybe been affected, right? Because you haven't been able to see your friends or maybe there has been some disharmony, okay, within relationships, all right? Because it is your obstacle. So things are definitely getting better for you all the way around. Um, this is putting in the effort, waiting for something, positive change, some positive change. So it's like you're moving from the eight, you want to get to the 10. So you know, you're seeing this progress moving forward, um, and you're growing. You're growing and planning your future and planting those seeds and taking that money um, to the bank, so to speak, okay? So at the end of the day, beautiful, beautiful energy. This is even public recognition for some of you. I see like a moon phase here as well, a lunar phase. So this is, to me, like a 30-day cycle, could be within 30 days for a lot of you, um, depending on your situation. If you're really down and out, um, I feel with the Knight of Wands, this is this is coming into your immediate energy. So 30 days, guys. 30 days for some of you. Others is going to be a little longer, but at the end of the day, it's still all good. Okay. Sp spring, um, the summer months, okay, we're going to really be kicking up the coins, okay? So I love this. I love this. Should we do an oracle card for you? Where are we at? 18 minutes, yeah. I kind of want to keep these short. I don't want to drag them out, but somebody needs to hear this. Um, there's success coming for you financially. There's success coming with a new job opportunity. This is interesting. This just flipped out. A leg up, see? This obstacle... Okay, card. All right, you need to ask for help. Maybe you, somebody knows somebody that knows somebody. Because a leg up is about asking for help. It's okay. It's not a sign of weakness. Um, sometimes we need a little help from our friends. We need better connections. We need more harmony in our lives. So reach out to the ones that you love. Then reach out to the ones that you know. They could possibly know somebody that has... A, a, a job opening at a particular organization, okay? Leg up, very, 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 very um, interesting. Not interesting, but, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm having a senior moment. Pivotal, pivotal, pivotal. <laughs> okay. Oh. Round and around. Um, 
Yeah, this is a cycle of life. Um, and that's that's the encouragement. Like one door closes, another one opens. And sometimes this could be the cycle of dysfunction. But I feel like for you, this is just a, a cycle of your life where you are now moving um, from one phase of your life to another. It's not huge as far as death and transformation. That's not here. That could be earth shattering, okay? Um, or a huge transition in the sense that it's real a real upheaval for you. But it is positive. I mean, this is like, all right, I need to get a job and I've been out of work because of, you know, everything that's been going on and I'm ready to move forward. So it's the cycle of life, round and around, and ask for help. This could also be, you know, that if, if this is typical behavior of you, um, that you need to use your resources well. All right, guys. And should we do one more card? Uh, one more oracle card for you guys. Let's see. I'm just looking behind me. Don't mind me. Is my hair a mess in the back? <laughs> oh, <coughs> work your magic. Saint Germain, beautiful energy. Look at this sacred geometry piece here. Um, <coughs> excuse me. You definitely want to put that in your in your third eye or through the crown, your crown chakra, guys, and let that permeate through your body, through your chakra system. Working magic is, you got what it takes, okay? So stay strong, okay? You know how to work it. You have some beautiful opportunities coming in that's going to change your future. Um, for the better, financially speaking, a job that may be... <clears throat> you've always wanted or just an opportunity to kind of get back on track with paying bills or having the income that you need um and and you'll get there i think it's amazing it's gorgeous guys all right so mwah. i love you very much i hope you enjoyed this little quickie we'll see you in the next one make sure you subscribe <laughs> would love for you to become a part of my tribe here guys and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up it's a free way you can help your girl god bless mwah. we'll see you in the next one